How's it going folks? One Mattis Grum here. It's an early Monday, beautiful Monday morning. Uh, but no, we're not heading to work today. We're just trying to head out on an early morning ride to get to our destination so we can beat traffic. Because it's a Monday. I wish it was Sunday, because Sunday was my day off. As well as Monday. Woo! But first, before we start our day, coffee time. Okay, now we had our early morning coffee and current event. Time to hit some trails. So So if you notice anything different with the footage right now, the field of view, or if it's a bit little if it's a bit too shaky, well, it's because I'm using the new Senna. No, 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 not that Cena. And a prison tube motorcycle helmet action camera. Long, not, not, like, a, not, like a short term temporary solution to my uh, issue here. I did lose my GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition uh, about almost two months ago. So, this is my solution. Just for now, until at least I can afford a new GoPro or another high-end quality uh, action camera. I mean, not, not to say that it's the center prism is bad at all. It's pretty good. I mean, for a, a low-budget camera, it's quality features and, you know, um, that it has and it's low-profile look. I mean, it's just, it's awesome, man, but it's just, of course, like all other cameras, it has its ups and downs. So this is how it looks like. I mount mine on towards the front of the helmet with the clamp mount that it came with. It does come with an adhesive mount, uh, which I mounted on the, the flattest side I can find on the flattest part of the helmet where on the side. But uh, the only problem with that is that my helmet is in the field of view. On um, you know, so I mount mine on the bottom part of the helmet which it comes with the clamp which it, which it was designed for and I kind of move it towards the front so I get this uh, 125 degree field of view that it shoots in and that my camera I mean my camera my helmet is not um, in, the, in the field of view so anyways yes this is the center Cena, Cena. Cena prison to motorcycle helmet action camera Shoots full HD and 1080p, 30 frames per second. That's it. That's all. I mean, that's how simple and easy to set up and operate this camera. As far as the quality of the picture, it is great, even at night. I'm gonna try to go, you know, just as smooth and slow enough here. That way, the footage won't be so shaky, you know, because it is shoots in the 125 degree degree uh, field of view at that range. You know, it picks up a lot of vibration and you know movement, so it's sensitive to that. It is all uh, water resistant, but not waterproof. Water re water resistant test. Not like I'm gonna break or anything. So yes, it, can, it will survive a rainstorm, but you cannot take it underwater. Definitely not. It has a one-touch operation where you know to turn on and turn off. It's very easy following a voice prompt. To simply turn it on, just slide it forward. The light on, so it blinks red and then turns blue, meaning it's ready. And then you get a voice prompt. Camera on. 
Recording. Recording. Now to turn it off, just simply slide it back, just like a flashlight. Camera off. Telling you the status of the camera, if it's on or off and recording, low bad or whoa. There's spiders here in the morning. Low bat, or if, uh, if your SD card is full, um, the only thing is that it takes the maximum uh, micro SD card is uh, 32 gigs. That's it. You can't take more, no more than that. Um, it does. It it, uh, it has an internal rechargeable battery, so you cannot change it once it dies out. I mean. You know, you, you either have to charge it or charge it on the go with a power bank, which you can do. You just got to modify your helmet. Power the camera and then just mount it on the side here. You can strap it anywhere you like. But for this reason, my cable is not long enough to put those, uh, you know, uh, power banks. That's a solution to this uh, two and a half, two, two hours to two and a half hour uh, recording time. I mean, right out of the box. I mean, you're all ready to go. It comes with a microphone and with this with a speaker prompt, which it tells you the status of your camera and the uh, and the accessories to um, to mount it. And of course, the camera. What I like about it is it it is lightweight at only 75 grams, and it's about one inch in diameter and four inches in length makes it so low profile look and it's you know it, it also can be used as a secondary camera for your motorcycle you know if you ordered additional extra accessories you can just mount, mount this uh, camera just just about anywhere and you can also use it for different applications uh, like a handheld recording device and then shoot just like you know you want to don't forget to put the cap on though there's a uh, there's a, a cap that comes with that too. There's two caps. Uh, it does have an external mic. It does have an external mic microphone, so it does. It's, but it does not pick up much unless you're in close range. But you have an option of connecting a, um, a microphone, an external microphone. And uh, the thing I don't like about it though is the, the internal microphone. It's like the opposite. It's really overpowering. So you can't talk loud. You gotta talk normally because it picks up so much that your voice tends to be overpowered so that's one of the things that you know I didn't really like though because you, you kind of hear there's that imbalance and the audio internal audio so yeah don't think about yelling or talking too loud right now I'm just talking normally so it should be picking up pretty well not too loud and not too you know not too like muffling but I did try to relocate my the microphone and other parts of the helmet but it just sounded like a muffle muffling um, I use it as a dash cam a temporary dash cam that is just temporary you know, mounted on the sun visor and the driver's side and then you can adjust it in just about any angle you know but you have to use the, the helmet clamp you know so you can mount it I mounted it on my uh, on my mountain bike helmet you know how the helmet is there's holes it just up I mounted the opposite way you adjust it Make the adjustments and then there you makes makes a good uh, helmet cam for a mountain bike you can also use it for any other helmets that is so you know the holidays is just right around the corner so I'm gonna take advantage of all those big sales and Black Friday sales so the quality in HD is pretty good uh, it does pick up a lot of blue I noticed like I said like I mentioned I remind you yeah of course the, with the two-hour life battery you know it's good to carry an extra SD card because you know once you connect the power bank you do the the only thing is that the, the speaker prompt and the microphone is going to be compromised because you're, you're going to be using the SD the micro SB plug for the you know for your uh, power bank that's the only thing about it you know you won't be recording any audio or you won't hear any voice prompt but it will power your your camera for depending on your milliamps I have a 7000 so that will give me like about six and a half hours to seven hours or even more and with all that running time you know of course you're gonna have to bring an extra SD card because you will run out of space 
and of course you can format your SD card on the camera you just with a press of a, a button in the rear as well as a reset button look at this spider just crawling on my helmet right now get away man if you if you have a if you have if you have a, an arach arachnophobia of spiders man this trails is not a place for you folks because you will these these little fellows will catch on you know and they'll you pick them up on the ride on the along the way so you pick up a lot of them and they'll just like hide in your helmet someplace else until you stop and they'll just crawl out and then you be going crazy <laughs> overall it's a great camera it's a great motorcycle helmet camera that is because it's designed for it but of course like I said you can use it for other applications so yes that is folks that's the center prism 2 motorcycle helmet action camera thanks for watching and hopefully this review will help you uh, help you just a little bit on what camera to choose uh, for your helmet if you're on a, on a tight budget or if you're looking for something that's really low profile and easy to use for your convenience and completely with a complete package ready to go then the center prism is for you so you guys take it easy you guys have fun be safe out there and enjoy the ride my friends you guys are awesome mm -hmm.